I'm Greg Garbos of Four Season Tools. What I'd like to talk about is crop rotations with movable greenhouses. We're here at Turner Farm on North Haven Island off the coast of Maine. We've had these movable greenhouses for the last three years and have worked out a really great rotation that's working well for them. We're here in October, so they're just finishing up their summer tomatoes and are getting ready to move their greenhouses. So this building behind me had, uh, had its tomatoes in and they've now finished and they've all been torn out. They'll then be moving it over these crops that are already on the ground to allow them to extend the harvest of the crops. We're going to talk briefly about uh, a different uh, one of the crop rotations that's pretty commonly discussed with a three position greenhouse. You can have a greenhouse that has one, two, or three positions. You can even go to a fourth position if you need to. Typically three position works out really well if you're centering your rotation around tomatoes. That allows you inside that greenhouse to have your 2011 tomatoes. This plot right here could be your 2012 tomatoes, and this could be your 2013 tomatoes. When it's all said and done, then you can move it back, and you allow yourself three years before you replant tomatoes in the same ground. That works out really great for the soil fertility. So if we have tomatoes in that greenhouse, what we might do is decide that we want to have winter spinach. So we have some spinach here that's planted under this row covering. What we can do is once our tomatoes are finished, we can slide that greenhouse over our spinach. You would never rip out your tomatoes to plant winter spinach because tomatoes are such a high value crop. Spinach also doesn't like to germinate inside of a high tunnel. So it works out really well that when your tomatoes are growing, you just go ahead and while they're still growing, you plant your winter spinach that allows you to let your tomatoes finish, allows the uh, spinach to properly germinate outdoors. Then when the tomatoes get ripped out, you move the greenhouse over that spinach just in time where that spinach needs that greenhouse in order to make it through the winter. So you've done all your growing in the fall, and what you're doing with the greenhouse is you're prolonging your harvest. After you're done with your spinach, you can then move that greenhouse back over here to another plot where you've been doing uh, like overwintering leaks under low tunnels. After you're done with your leaks, you can move that greenhouse again, and you can get an early start of carrots underneath a low tunnel inside of a high tunnel. One of the key parts of this system is that double covering. We like the term high tunnel as opposed to a hoop house cold frame or greenhouse to differentiate the high tunnel versus the low tunnel. It's really the, the row cover that brings you that massive season extension. So if you're getting 500 miles of climate change or a zone and a half from your high tunnel, you can also get a zone and a half or 500 miles from your, from your row covering. So even though we're on the coast of Maine, on a sunny day in the winter, we can have a Georgia climate. So those are some of the different considerations for using low tunnels, high tunnels, and some of the crop rotations with movable greenhouses.